We're seeing kids that are identifying as animals going to school and they are purring instead of answering questions and they meow and the teachers are not allowed to question it because it's considered a queer identity. So you have kids that are going to school and they're saying, I'm a cat, mm -hmm. and the teachers have to affirm them as a cat. So it's so not schools just are like the young literal, ones. literal zoos now, basically. All right, so NSPCC reports that it's important to understand what healthy sexual development looks like in children as they grow. Children's sexual development is shaped by their environment, experiences, and what they see. Children now are more likely to see or come across sexual images and videos at a younger age than their parents would have done. This can be through films, music videos, or online um, um, channels, including pornography. Now, every child is different and may become interested in sex, uh, relationships, sex, and sexuality at slightly different ages. But as children get older, um, the way they express their sexual feelings changes. So it's natural for teenagers to show interest in sex and relationship, for example, or for children to be curious about the changes that happen during puberty. Many sexual behaviors um, children and teenagers show as they grow up are normally and um, rather are normal and healthy. So as long as they are not causing harm to others or to the children themselves. Now bringing this back to the queer community uh, and the drive at um, sexualizing children, at a very young age today, we're asking, how can we protect the innocence of children till they are matured enough to make informed decisions? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 a 3 You can also tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow. So I, I think um, since March, mid-March or early March or something, I have just been, and it's, it's so interesting, the algorithm for Instagram. Once you watch one video, it's almost like every time I go on my Explore page, those are the videos that just keep on coming to my, and I take my time to watch it. There was a particular video that I saw. A young girl. Oh, sorry, you're trying to sign, um, what's it called? You know this um, petition? to sign so that you can approve that a young girl, she's just five and she wants to become a boy. She says she doesn't want to feel like, she doesn't feel like a girl anymore and she wants to become a boy and all of that. That would you, do you mind, you know, um, we need about 50 signatures. Do you mind putting your signature? I am so shocked, ladies. Not one person said no. Not one person questioned it. Oh, she says she doesn't want to be a boy anymore. She wants, I mean, she doesn't want to be a girl anymore. She wants to be a boy. Okay, no problem. I'll sign it. And that was like an experiment that was done to tell you how bad it has gone. So nobody's questioning anything. And everybody signed that video that I watched. Everybody signed. No one, not even one person said, no, wait a minute. She's too young. She's five. How would she know that she wants to be a boy or a girl? Oh, if that's what she wants, okay. So we just signed it to help her. And they were signing. So... This conversation for me is a bit of a dicey situation, right? I have two boys. I've always wanted a girl and a boy, but the second one came out. It was a very yellow and beautiful boy, <laughs> you know, very, very yellow. And, you know, and the funny thing is that he is even very, you know, effeminate. He's the, he's the child that will notice that you fixed lashes or you changed your nails. Oh, mommy, you changed your hair. You know, when he was younger, he would wear my heels, he would wear my wigs, and we'd take pictures. In fact, I was saying that. I don't want to embarrass him, but I'll just look for one of those pictures. And he's so cute. And he's so, he's so, I mean, if this boy, because remember what we talked about, the NPSS, um, the, 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 yeah, the, the definition. If this boy was in a different community, mm -hmm. right, a different climb, definitely, what they, what they would expect me to do is that I should now start telling him that you, it was a mistake that God made. You're supposed to be a girl. And I now start to give him hormonal drugs, you know, that would probably um, um, enhance the feminine, feminine traits or whatever, yes. uh, hormones and all of that in his system and kill the, the testosterone and all of that. And I'm just wondering, 
where do we draw the line? Because this is a very sensitive conversation to have, but it is a must to be had because no child really has clarity. Even us as adults, when did I even understand my left from my right? Even as an adult, after marriage of how many years, after children and everything, clarity comes to different people at different ages. But I've not seen a two-year-old, I've not seen a three-year-old, I've not seen a four-year-old that has clarity as to say, no, 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 no. I want to be a boy. Because now, even with all those videos, you are now seeing different counter videos of people that their parents did the same thing for them at a young age. They are now crying out. They shouldn't have taken out their genitals. They shouldn't have taken out this. So how do we protect right, the innocence of children? I get it that everybody wants to, they want to express freedom of expression. I want to be a rat. You can call me a rat tomorrow. Call me whatever you want to call me tomorrow. But baboon. I'm a baboon. Hey. You know, I live in the zoo. You know, I want to be all of that. But where do we draw the line in terms of innocence of children? Who wants to go first? Okay. So first of all, you see that video that we went where said that child wanted to be a cat and wanted to be purring and mirroring. See, children sometimes, that's why they are children. They don't know what they're talking about. A child can come in here today and say, oh, mommy, I'm a chimpanzee. That's, I mean, it's just the child. Maybe the child has watched a cartoon or has seen something mm -hmm. that has informed that decision. Now, as an adult, you then now take it seriously and okay. say that, and well, that's, yes, baby, you're a chimpanzee. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense, you know. It actually doesn't make sense. And this thing now comes back <laughs> to, the, to the adults. Look, the queer community has a right to express themselves freely and be whatever it is that they want to be. You can be lesbian, you can be gay, you can be whatever. But allow children to be children. Until they get to a certain age, a child cannot decide if they want to be a beast or they want to be, they don't want to be a girl, they want to transform to a boy, they want to be. So where has all our, like, let's not even talk about morals now, say, let's not, our humanity, where has, where has, how can you see yourself as a human being and then you are fooling another child and say the child wants to be an animal, so allow the child to be an animal and nobody should say anything about that. Like, I think sometimes we need to sit back and think again. I remember as, as a child, there were some things that we did. Okay, you, see you talking about your son, how he would wear wigs. That's normal. Children, I remember my younger brothers wearing my mother's shoes in the house. It was just, it's a normal thing for children. They see things in the house, they explore. Their minds are growing, their head, you know, their brain is working overdrive. So they're seeing all those things and they want to explore, they want to try, they want to try that. But then you as an adult, as a, a child comes to you or as a caregiver. And then you now fuel that thought and say, yes. Uh, you don't feel like a boy should be a girl. Oh, I support you. Let's start taking hormonal drugs for you to be. Why? Why? So I feel the queer community needs to need to understand where to draw. Although I, I feel globally, they've gone too far. Unfortunately, well, it is what it is. They've gotten to that point where now it is so hard for them to come back and say, okay, no, we can't support this anymore. No, but let me even let me even tell you that. Then I'll come to Jennifer and Mary. Even people in the queer community now. Mm. There, there was a video I watched. This guy is a drag queen. Mm. Right? He says, see, it is in my full senses as an adult I decided that I would do this madness. Of course. So, that this is just a form of expression and sexuality. That even him. And he was talking to the interviewer. And he said, see, you dare not talk about it. But I will talk about it. That it is absolutely wrong. Indoctrinating. Because there's another video of them teaching young children how to become drag queens. Drag queens. Teaching them all those... Children that you say they, they are not licensed to vote, they can they, 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 they cannot drink alcohol. They they can can drink. Meanwhile, and you rightly said something because these things are children are, are impressionable. Exactly. And that's why you see that there's a very deliberate attempt to infuse some of these things in cartoons, in videos, in, in music, and all of those things. It is very deliberate, right? So the guy was saying, I am a you see me, I'm a I'm a guy, but I like to dress like a girl. He's a drag queen. And he said that it is absolutely wrong. That I chose this life as an adult, right? Mm -hmm. you, it is wrong for you to start to indoctrinate children. It is okay to do your madness. But not indoctrinating children into that madness is what I do not get. Let me hear your thoughts, Jennifer, then I'll mm. come to you, Mary. So I think um, it is quite irresponsible as a caregiver or a parent to let your kids do things like this because it doesn't make any sense. Like you said, um, you already said kids cannot vote, kids are not allowed to drink alcohol, they are not allowed to take drugs, but they are allowed to turn to cats 
or they're allowed to say, oh, I want to be a girl or I want to be a boy. And we've seen situations where somebody says, oh, I want to be a tree. I remember seeing one video, an American guy that says, oh, he now identifies as Korean. <laughs> Did you see the one that says she identifies her as a black woman that oh, she's coming I to saw, Africa to yes. come and learn the black ways? The, the, she did the surgery to go and tan, to turn, herself, tan to herself. This one is even black. bad because the, the, the interviewer asked him, Why do you identify as Korean? Mm -hmm. You are American. He said, Oh, that he lived in Korea for two years. He learned their ways, he learned their language, and he eats their food. And the guy is like, so how does that make you Korean? If a Korean guy comes to America and says, oh, I now identify as American, would you accept that? He now said that that's what works for him. So I'm just like, huh. So if you go to, if you go to Iraq and spend another two years, you will come out and tell me you identify as uh, uh, Iran. Because <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand it. And like you said, these things are actually deliberate because even in cartoons, if you watch closely, yeah, I don't think, personally, I don't think um, kids should be watching um, Cartoon, Network. Cartoon Network. I don't think they should be watching Nickelodeon, personally, because... Those, those channels or those TV networks are using it as a tool to shift the mindsets of children. If you watch Cartoon Network and look at what they were showing back then, and you look at it now as an adult, people have actually sat down to analyze the content that they push out. And you're like, oh, these were things we were actually watching. Like maybe some of us couldn't tell. It was like, oh, okay, and we didn't pay attention to it. But there, there are some kids that it just registers in their subconscious. And as you grow, that's why you start seeing kids that are eight years, nine years old, are telling you, oh, I'm in a relationship. And you as a parent, you are smiling and happy. Oh, my daughter and my son, they are in love. What is that? Hmm. I, I, don't, I don't get it. If you watch Nickelodeon and see the things that they actually push out, if you take your time as a parent, you would not allow your kids to watch it. My sister doesn't allow her kids to watch Nickelodeon. There are some specific channels that she allows them to watch. Now, even when I go to her house and I'm like, oh, I want to watch this, she, the, the son will tell me, oh, there's parental control on it. Mommy doesn't allow us to watch it, so he can't watch it. I'm like, okay, cool. What do you watch? And they show me, I'm still there and be watching what they're watching, even if it doesn't make any sense to me. But to me, it's like, okay, she's trying to protect. You have she's to. She's trying to protect what her you kids consume. And that, that as it is your responsibility as a caregiver or as a parent to actually control the things that your kids listen to. Mm. And it's so crazy that schools these days, now your kids are supposed to leave home and then they spend a better half of their day or better part of their day in the school. But then schools are bringing these, these syllables and curriculum that make no sense. Mm. It's, not, it's not like you're going to write exam or need to for you to enter secondary school or go to university. But then you're there. They're actually teaching you things. My, I think um, my friend was telling me the other day how her sister in her uni, I think she's in, the, she's in Canada, and in their curriculum, they were teaching them spells, mm. witchcraft spells. And the question is, how does this correlate with what she has come to school to study? So if she comes out and she comes out as a major, okay, I majored in this. Can you tell me where witchcraft spell fits into that? And if you take time to look at the syllables that schools are churning out, sometimes they make it look nice. They make it look like, oh, it's the normal thing they are teaching your kids. But if you look at their notebooks and ask them the things that are being taught in school, it is totally different from what you think it is. And a lot of parents are not paying attention to these things because, oh, the school is supposed to teach my kids. When your kids come back, you need to so, ask no, them specific no, questions. Think, again, parents are the ones actually fighting back, especially in the U.S. A lot of parents are coming out and fighting the government. Because, again, you mentioned two things. But you see, the part that you left that is the biggest part now is what we're dealing with is the government, mm. right? Yes. The government are the ones, like, you know, enforcing laws and saying that, oh, in their schools, especially public schools. Yeah. So parents are actually coming out to fight. Nobody's just discriminating against any other person. You, you choose it. I mean, if I had got, gone to an all-girls school, it's possible that I might have likely, likely, likely tilted towards becoming a lesbian too because of the environment that I was in, Right. Um, so you can't also blame them for their sexual preferences or what they choose that they want to become. 
but now deliberately now going out to just now start to educate children. I mean, there's something you can do to protect their innocence. Let them grow um, some level of maturity yeah. first. Yeah. Let them let them be able to, to decipher good and bad. Then you can then throw out those options. I teach my children about homosexuality and all of those things for the sake of, um, what's education. it called? Education. Knowledge. So that they know that these people exist. So when you yes. see them, respect them. Yeah. But you see, it stops there. You know, you have your own sexual orientation, you have your own sexual preferences. But not deliberately just indoctrinating it into a child. Like saying that it is, you know, that's where I think I'm struggling with, right? But let me come to you, Mary, because we've not heard your voice. You've been quiet and smiling since. <laughs> hmm. Where do I start from? Okay, this topic is, is quite a lot. For me, I'm trying to find the root cause of it because... It's, it's sad that the government is enabling it and that is why there's a force literally pushing it out there because there's a reason why there's a legal age for children um, for people or for human beings there's a reason why alcohol is not allowed onto a certain age you know there there are certain guidelines nobody's saying you can't standards yes nobody's saying you can't become who you want to be but children have there's a stage you know you have to grow through before you have that before your discerning spirit is well formed to say oh okay i can decide i want to do this and even the u.s has made it as low as 18 where you have kids who can say you want to move out of your parents house at the age of 18. so i don't understand why they're actually pushing these things towards children because it's going to damage the society to be honest if if you have such content in movies in every everything you're watching now has mm -hmm. to have a gay it's almost like a must even when it's not necessary, when it's not needed. And I'm just like, look how far this thing has gone and look at the damage it's doing to kids. How can your child be saying that you want to mirror and purr in the class? And All right, so if you just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out and we're discussing the queer community and, the and how we can protect the innocence of children. Now, <clears throat> please let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to read one a 3 you can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa one with the hashtag we show. And um, our phone line is now open. The number to call is 70 Remember, turn off the volume of all your television and um, whatever device you're watching us from. The number to call again is 70 So, I mean, <clears throat> there was a video online that I saw that is a book for 10-year-olds. That is the road that is perfectly normal and is a sex education curriculum. You know, if you see the kind of images there, there's oral sex, there's, you know, um, there's oral sex, there's, um, what's it called, anal sex, there's boy to boy, there's mm. a lot of, and this it's is a textbook. Do you understand? This like, is a textbook that is actually for 10-year-olds, right? That they're teaching them, like, sex education. So every teacher now in school, you must, you know, abide by those laws so if the government is the one that is bringing these things and it looks like i mean th there was a country now i can't remember what country, what african country the 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 um, she's a female president was it liberia i'm not sure the, the president that i mean she stood on her ground and no she's not going to legalize um, gay rights it's not possible it's not their standards it's not their moral mm -hmm. right you know okay i think um liberia, liberia. The, yes Salif. yes Salif, Salif yes Johnson, yeah. You know, so, I mean, she said, no, she's not going to, she's not going to, um, what's it called, legalize it. Mm -hmm. So, there are countries that have stood their grounds, and it's almost like they're threatening them. If you take this position, mm -hmm. and, you know, and what really, really worries me, you want me to accept your stance, your sexuality and all of that. You don't want to also accept the fact that I don't want to accept. Do you understand? Where your freedom stops, that's where mine starts, right? So, if you, if you understand all of these things, you would say that, okay, yes, I get it that adults can be crazy. You can do crazy things. I always say to people that when it comes to children, your madness, two of you can, and that's where, even when there are cases of maybe issues of divorce in the home and all of that, I tell father and mother, do your madness and do it well. But when there is, when it's when time the for the children involved. and when children are involved, involved. that your madness yeah. should stop. Yeah, like you put a pause. And first of all, deal with the situation. Yeah. Because again, like you rightly said, 
the children is almost like and if we destroy the children now right boys wanting to become girls girls wanting to become boys and all of that thing happening what happens to the future there will be no future mm. right so recently there has been issues i think uti had taken the story about participation in um, um people that say oh i identify now as a woman participating in, in female uh, athletic sports, sports and all yeah. of that. Yeah. that's one hand prisons mm. they were taking um, people that say oh i identify as women that they've gone to do all those whatever they were raping inmates do you understand? So now, do you understand? Male sexual organ. You, do you get what I'm point? You want to, you, you want to identify as a, you a as, do you understand? You have to pick. Mm. You know, so they are raping the in, the female inmates in prison. So they are now having cases of m m m m more pregnant inmates, all in the name of I identify as a woman. So tomorrow, forgive me if I if I identify as American, wow. they must come and carry me and go. Honestly, <laughs> though, I mean, because you no, know, it should not. There should not be any limits to it. There should not be any boundaries to it. Because most times when you see Piers Piers Morgan talking, it's almost like he's a lone lone ranger in the in the forest shouting. But the truth is that make it make sense. Yeah. If you say you identify as this, if tomorrow I come out to say I, I identify as this, you must also accept it. You know, I've not said that you should not identify as anything. And this is where I get a problem. Because it seems like, oh, you're attacking us, you're homophobic. No. I have said it that even in my lifetime, I have practiced lesbianism. It was not, it's not strange. It's not something that, because you are a child, you explore. So I had one, one girl like this that was always coming to my, if a girl is touching your whatever, is that not lesbianism already? Did you understand? Everybody, if you really want to be honest with yourself, yeah. you must have kissed a girl at some point, kissed a boy at some, some point. I'm Just saying to you that curiosity. if we had groomed that, that, um, that, um, yeah, thought, so thought um, and continue to water the plant and water it, by now I'd have been a full blown yeah. lesbian yeah. and I'll be, you know, I'll be boiling. But I'm yeah. saying to you that, but you see, this thing is not like somebody, so I am not um, homophobic or whatever. Mm. What I'm saying is that, yes, do it. But like you said, there's a legal age 18. Stop it there. Everything 18 below. Give them some level of sanity. Yeah, let, let, you know? let the care But the argument they will say is them. that if a, bo if a child that grows up, now they say uh, uh, you have a male child. No, no, no. How, why would you uh, call my boy, child a male boy, child? Boy, a girl. boy, a boy. Again. Leave the, leave, it's a baby. He said, his name will say it's a baby. He said, when the child gets to, the child will decide which, you know, which, be, which yeah. um, whatever. So the argument is that so you stay on I have two you. <laughs> females as parents. I never noticed to call them again. I have they so as parents. Yeah. Right? So I need to also be taught in school. You know? I need a curriculum that would fit what I am seeing at home. So that's their argument. So, yes. Because uh, I was going to... When, when Mary asked... Sorry to cut you off. Well, when Mary asked the root cause, I was going to come to that. So you see, there's the problem of coming out <laughs> as gay or as lgbtq or whatever yeah. it is you know so now what they are trying to do is they don't want to wait for you to get to the point of being an adult before you now have to do that whole big announcement to your family and say hey guys <laughs> and you come out with the rainbow flag and say i'm not straight right so there's that there's also i remember when we started teaching other religions in nigeria in the um not the nigerian curriculum now you know some schools practice the nigerian and the british curriculum and if you're practicing the british curriculum you must teach other religions mm. so you're not teaching them to practice you're teaching them so that they have knowledge for knowledge yes so i remember i was teaching sikhism and for the life of me i, I mean i have never met a sikh in my life right but i had to read about it and then i read i read and i had to teach the children about sikhism and then the next morning a mom came marching with so much annoyance Michinelo, how dare you what tell you? my child now there they come mm -hmm. six as a, and I'm looking at Because what is Because even us for this thing, because <laughs> <laughs> so have you seen those guys that wrap with orange? Yeah, it is could it? be any color, really. They wrap the you turban. Know, so they yeah, you yeah. can never see their hair. Their hair is sacred. So then they don't cut their hair. They leave their hair. Their hair can grow as long as whatever. But they wrap. They're, they're not very common in Nigeria. But then you, I'm sure you've seen some. I of think I've seen some. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday morning, Islam. every time when I um, yeah. growing up, mm. you just hear them with bell. The, exactly. And or, yes. It's usually orange those and white. Are, those are oh the my six. days! Those are the six, right. So we had to teach to the children other religions. So the and then the parents were not finding it funny because. <laughs> Because children started to go home and say, Mommy, why are we Christians? Exactly. Why are we not practicing Sikhism? Why are we not practicing Islam? Why are we... 
But I mean, that's a child for you. The child would definitely be queer. Yeah, so how about the child? Yeah, up now even, and adult, say, even adult. I now want to be identified as sick. I don't want to be. So I understand that you're trying to just like sex education. I understand you're trying to educate the children. Now we're saying, okay, from age five, you should start telling the children to identify the parts of their body and know, okay, so and you should call the names what the names actually are. No, my PP, my whatever. Call it what it is so that they know. I mean, that's for them to know, right? But you see, these people have taken it to another level now, and they are saying because we don't want to wait for the children to get older before they start coming out and identifying as whatever. So once to inculcate it in the curriculum, we want to start making. I was surprised when I saw a book by ML Webb. ML Webb is a very popular children's author, and I was so disappointed to say the least when I saw her book, The Gay Bees, and I'm like, wait a minute. And I went to read the reviews on that book, and people were like, yes, you know, children need to understand that they, you can have two dads, you can have two moms. I get it, because in their class, they will definitely see yeah. Edith or Ethan, and Ethan's dad, Ethan has two dads. So Ethan will come to school and say, oh, my dads. <laughs> I understand that, clearly, but you see, allow them come to, don't, if you want to teach them, teach them, let them understand, not that you're not giving them the liberty and to now say... Him. Yes, you also, do you know that you also can grow up and be a dad and have another dad and have a child? Why? Why are you doing that? You are killing, you are killing that child. Hmm. It's such a tough... Ha, it's a very battle. honest, it's a very, yeah, it's a, it's a serious so, battle. So, you know, you know, the, you, I don't even want to... And like you said, I hope that the Nigerian government does not, because we are very quick to open our doors to this international curriculum. And since this curriculum is now, these things have been infused into the curriculum. Imagine a school that has already adopted the, or practices the American curriculum, for example. Mm. Very soon, they're going to start teaching this thing in Nigeria. That's I what won't be surprised. Means. And I feel like it's going to start from the really private, of course, private schools. Because mm. I think there's another thing where everyone is trying to be woke mm. oh i'm woke so i have to there are people who Kids who so accept these things and do these things but then you know deep down or they know deep down in their hearts that i'm not okay with it but because i need to be seen as woke then I'm, i just have to act a certain way and there's a question that i keep asking and i'm like see the lines are getting blood at what point will the lines completely disappear oh we help you hold on I will ask that question. <laughs> we have our caller, Pastor Ladipo from Lagos. Uh -huh. Problem. Hmm. As in, I'm weak. Chinelo weakened me. Pastor Ladipo, are you live? Go ahead, though. You're here. Yes. Go ahead. All right. My take is this. You see, I want to thank God for the place where I'm from. Especially, this is the best time to be proud to be an African person. Hmm. We still uphold our morals despite all the infiltration. We so still uphold our morals. You see this thing they are doing to children too. They started it with adults. Okay, now, with all these things, when they hosted the World Cup, what did those Arab nations told them? Especially Qatar. They said, no, this one here, no, that one. They still hold on to some of these things. Hmm. It is these so-called uh, European countries and the uh, uh, Western world that are now bastard. Can't you see the killings going on there? It's also a result of indoctrinating children. May God save us. Thank you. God bless Nigeria. <laughs> Thank you. So, I mean, I just want you to quickly watch this video hmm. um, because it's important that we attach uh, um, something to what we're saying. Go ahead. Uh, but this book, for example, uh, it's perfectly normal. Mm. This is uh, a book that is actually geared for 10-year-olds and up. 10-year-olds, that's fourth grade. This is a, a sex ed curriculum. There is horrific images in here. America is just losing its mind. Right. It's just losing its mind. It's lost right. its values, and now it's lost its mind. This book, this is a printout from a book for um, eighth graders. And so mm -hmm. eighth grade and up, and it talks about how parents should be encouraged to have sex in front of their children, uh, that they should, you know, breastfeed and have sex at the same time in front of their babies. No, you're I kidding mean, me. This is just sick. Oh, it is well. So I like the question you asked, Jennifer. And Pastor Ladipo, let me tell you, don't be too quick to say you thank God for Africa. It's because Africa, 
We don't know. We don't only know how to copy. We like adopting. We know how to. We know how to copy and copy well and do it more than the people that own the thing. Mm -hmm. that. So that's the why you need to be extremely careful, you know, before you say because again, if we do not hold certain standards for ourselves, you know, you asked about blurry lines. Trust me, those lines have disappeared. Mm. I can't even find the blur anymore. Right, it's it's almost like everybody, you know. Then it's it's like you that you are trying to because when I came into this world, I was telling my children, my sons, that if you want to get married, you have to go. You can now, you can now because now they've taken out gender from certif birth certificates. They've <laughs> taken out gender, so you can't write male or female on a birth certificate. So now you can't even ask what gender were you at birth. You have to go and ask what sexual organ did you come to this earth with. That's what you have to ask hmm. because it's so is is like i don't understand i get it that we want to explore we want to be we want to do all of those things if me i had the opportunity to say me said go explore but when you want to do your exploration keep your exploration to yourself do you understand not destroying the innocence of children so as it stands now you can't even ask what gender the child was at birth because it's no longer going to be written so our, our even see our children's generation said they even uh, escape small. Yeah. Mm. It is their own children that they will give birth mm -hmm. to. Yeah. What will happen? Those lines are completely off. You know, the world the world is getting very scary to be honest. And every time I think about bringing a child into this world, it scares me because there's so much protection that I can do as a parent. Okay. There's so much I can do, and I have to keep praying to God that if my child leaves home and goes out into the world to interact with other kids from other homes like you need to help me protect the kind of information they get and they consume i remember seeing a video recently about a popular artist or celebrity who who said um he identifies as they them and then i think they were talking about um fishing they're like oh if you go fishing as a fisherman um what do you do and blah 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 so as he wanted to respond, he was about to say, um, as a fisherman, but I think he remembered. It's a fisherwoman. No, no. It's a fisher day. It's a fisher day. Yes, I know, boy. It's a fisher day. I was thinking about... Our, 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 our dictionary don't change, though. Come on now. It's not eh? realistic. Yeah. There's problem, though. So he said, as a, as a fisher day, you know, fisher day, I, I was just... I was yeah, really cool, paying really. so much attention because I really wanted to hear what he was going to say. Like, I really... For the life of me... I wasn't expecting Fisher Day. Even Fisher this queer guy, I was talking okay, about, he said, what's the name of Dead Dead? Now, queer guy, they talk about, now him, they talk, he said, what's the name of Dead Dead? He said, him, he be man. Even though he's dressing like a woman, and all that, he's a man. You understand that all this Dead Dead is some, like, you know, he called the... the, the <laughs> People who so identify with their pronouns, that's, that's fine. But I think the topic for today is, please leave kids alone. Actually, Leave children it. alone. Identify as who you want to identify. If you want to identify as a pot, that's fine. If you want to identify as free. That's up to you. Do what you want to do. But when it comes to kids, leave them alone. If you feel, in fact, train only your child and train your child at home. Jennifer, do homeschooling. The only thing Don't I bring to your child with. outside. Because it, it, to me, it doesn't make any sense. As mm. a parent, you can't be living in fear that your child is going to school and they will come out with, they will come back home with a different ideology that you've not imbibed in them. Absolutely. Ah, that's very scary. I please, want to identify please, as please, a billionaire, please. please, going forward. I know, right? That's I all I want to identify. You as we we billion. Just choose the one billion. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a billionaire. Please, Uwa billion. Just come. I identify as a billionaire. Okay. I don't. If you like, go and check the back account. You're not concerned. <laughs> Maybe take a comment. Okay. Good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying? Hashtag ways. The queer community and protecting the innocence of children. We really need to be very careful when handling our children. Children nowadays grow more than their age and take decisions that is detrimental to their growth. My dear beautiful sister Jenny made mention of parents stopping their children from watching cartoons and Nickelodeon, which I agree because what they learn from there will destroy them at a tender age. They need to start well and maintain it and grow with it. Another thing is that they will claim to be something that their parents did not make them to be. 
Children should be disciplined now so that their destinies and future will not be ruined. My name is Daniel Ilowe's regular fan. Thank you. Thank you but when the parents are the gay ones now, who is now going mm. to COVID? That's the if problem. If you have now. two gay dads now, what do you want them to be preaching to you? That's the problem. That's no, they can't. So the thing is, the they, can still, they can still tell their kids, wait till you're 18. But they say, you, you, you mirror your parents now. Huh. <laughs> the signs of the end time. Signs that the world is coming like to Jesus an Christ, end. Jesus Christ, you just so. don't become. He's <laughs> going to come soon. Well, ladies, thank you for the conversation. I like where Jennifer's touched it, and we are bringing it back to the topic of the day. There's a in, there is an innocence that every child has. has. Even children that have done wrong, mm. there's still that innocence inside of them. That's for the life of me, we are begging you before. Do your queer, do whatever you want to do, it's fine. But please leave our children alone. We need to protect our future. They are the future. And if we don't protect them, you know, I don't even know what the world will turn into. Some people were normal. That's why you are alive on this earth. I wonder. <laughs> don't you want to produce children? want to produce children? This is well. Thank you, ladies. Now, before we go, ensure you follow us across all our social media handles at Way Show Africa. You can interact with us further. Drop a comment and more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media, like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. If you missed our quote for today, here it is again. It is better to risk saving a guilty person than to condemn an innocent one. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.